Before we begin, please take a moment to open your heart and receive this message. My beloved child, I see your struggles and your pain. I understand the nights filled with tears and the days burdened with worries. But know this, I am with you always. I am your God, your Father, and your friend. You are never alone. In your darkest moments, I am there, holding you, comforting you, and guiding you. You may feel like you are walking through a valley of despair, but I promise you, there is light ahead. You are not defined by your circumstances. You are defined by my love for you. You are my precious creation, fearfully and wonderfully made. Every hair on your head is numbered, and every tear you have shed has been collected by me. Do not be afraid of the challenges before you. I have equipped you with strength and courage. You are capable of more than you can imagine because I am within you. The same power that raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. Embrace this truth and let it empower you. Remember, my plans for you are good. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Trust in my timing. Even when you cannot see the path ahead, I am making a way. I am working behind the scenes, orchestrating everything for your good. Let go of your fears and anxieties. Cast all your burdens on me, for I care for you. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. Do not dwell on the past or worry about the future. Live in the present moment, for it is a gift from me. Seek my presence in everything you do. In every breath you take, in every step you make, I am there. I am your constant companion, your ever-present help in times of trouble. When you feel weak, remember that my grace is sufficient for you. My power is made perfect in your weakness. When you are weak, then you are strong, for it is my strength that sustains you. Lean on me, rely on me, and I will carry you through. You are a temple of the Holy Spirit. My spirit dwells in you, guiding you, comforting you, and empowering you. You are never without help. You are never without hope. My spirit is your constant guide leading you into all truth, helping you to live a life that glorifies me. Do not be discouraged by the difficulties you face. They are temporary and will soon pass. Keep your eyes on me, the author and finisher of your faith. I began a good work in you, and I will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. You are my child, and I love you with an everlasting love. Nothing can separate you from my love. Neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate you from my love that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Stand firm in your faith. Be steadfast and immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Keep your focus on me, and I will give you peace that surpasses all understanding. I will guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. My child, you are destined for greatness. I have a purpose and a plan for your life. Walk in confidence, knowing that I am with you. 
You are more than a conqueror through him who loved you. Rise up, take your place, and fulfill your destiny. I am your God, and I will never leave you nor forsake you. Trust in me with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge me, and I will make your paths straight. I am your guide, your protector, and your provider. Today, step out in faith, knowing that I am with you. Embrace the future with hope and anticipation. Great things are in store for you. You are loved, you are cherished, and you are mine. May my peace be with you always. Amen. My beloved child, as you continue your journey, remember that every step you take is ordered by me. I am the lamp unto your feet and the light unto your path. Even when the way seems unclear, trust that I am guiding you. I have gone before you to prepare a place for you, and I am also walking beside you, ensuring that you do not falter. When challenges arise, do not see them as obstacles, but as opportunities for growth. Each trial is a chance to strengthen your faith and to draw closer to me. Consider it pure joy whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Lean into my word, for it is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow, it judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. My word is your weapon against the enemy's lies and your shield against the arrows of doubt and fear. I am your refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, do not fear, though the earth gives way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. I am in the midst of you. You shall not be moved I will help you when morning dawns. Know that you are deeply loved and highly favored. My grace is abundant and it overflows into every area of your life. I am the source of all your needs. When you are weary, come to me and I will give you rest. When you are burdened, cast your cares upon me for I care for you. Remember the promise I have made to you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Even in the valley of the shadow of death, you need not fear evil, for I am with you. My rod and my staff, they comfort you. I prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. I anoint your head with oil. Your cup overflows. Goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life, and you will dwell in my house forever. Your future is secure in me. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me. You are a light in this world, a city set on a hill that cannot be hidden. Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Be salt and light, preserving and illuminating the truth of my love and grace. I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. Stand firm, then, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith, 
with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Never underestimate the power of your prayers. They move mountains, change hearts, and align your will with mine. My beloved, I am pouring out my spirit upon you. You will prophesy, dream dreams, and see visions. The days of miracles are not over. I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. Expect the unexpected. Anticipate the miraculous. Believe that I am able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you ask or think according to the power that works in you. I am writing my laws on your heart and inscribing them on your mind. You are my child and I am your God. You will know me from the least to the greatest, for I will forgive your wickedness and will remember your sins no more. Be bold and courageous, knowing that I am with you wherever you go. Speak my word with confidence, live out your faith with integrity, and love others as I have loved you. In doing so, you will fulfill the law of Christ and draw many into my kingdom. Go forth in my strength, my child. You are equipped, empowered, and destined for greatness. Walk in my love, live in my grace, and shine with my light. The world needs what you have to offer, for you carry within you the hope of glory, Christ in you. I bless you, I keep you, and I make my face shine upon you. I am gracious to you, I turn my face toward you, and I give you peace. Go in my love, my joy, and my peace, and know that I am with you always, to the very end of the age. Amen. My beloved child, as you journey through this life, never forget the immense love I have for you. My love is unwavering, unchanging, and unfathomable. It reaches beyond the heights of heaven and the depths of the sea. It is constant, enduring through every trial and triumph. You are my masterpiece, created in Christ Jesus to do good works which I prepared in advance for you to do. Embrace your identity in me. You are not defined by your past mistakes or failures. You are defined by my grace and redemption. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. My child, lift your eyes and see the great things I am doing in your life. I am opening doors that no one can shut and making a way where there seems to be no way. Trust in my promises, for they are yes and amen in Christ. I am faithful, and I will do it. Hold on to hope, for hope does not disappoint. Your hope in me is an anchor for your soul, firm and secure. In moments of doubt and fear, turn to me. I am your refuge and your fortress, your God in whom you trust. I will cover you with my feathers, and under my wings you will find refuge. My faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, 
but it will not come near you. You are a new creation in Christ. The old has gone and the new has come. Live in this newness of life, empowered by my spirit. The same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead is alive in you, giving life to your mortal body. Walk by the spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. You are led by the Spirit of God, and you are my child. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. When you are weak, then you are strong. Do not rely on your own strength, but on mine. I am your strength and your song. I have become your salvation. Rejoice in me always, and again I say, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. I am near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to me. And my peace, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Meditate on my word day and night. Let it be a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. Hide my word in your heart that you might not sin against me. My word is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Allow my word to transform you by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what my will is, my good, pleasing, and perfect will. My beloved, do not grow weary in doing good, for at the proper time you will reap a harvest if you do not give up. Therefore, as you have opportunity, do good to all people, especially to those who belong to the family of believers. Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Remember, I am the vine, and you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Stay connected to me, for I am your source of life and strength. My love flows through you, enabling you to love others as I have loved you. My dear child, as you continue to walk this path, Always remember that I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I see the entirety of your journey from start to finish, and I am intimately involved in every detail. Nothing escapes my notice, and nothing is beyond my power to change or redeem. When you face trials, do not be discouraged. For these are the refining fires that purify and strengthen your faith. Just as gold is refined by fire, so too is your faith being refined to reflect my glory. Trust that every hardship has a purpose, and that I am using even the most difficult circumstances to mold you into the person I created you to be. You are my workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which I have prepared in advance for you to do. Do not underestimate the impact of your obedience. Every act of kindness, every word of encouragement, every step of faith you take is significant in my kingdom. You are planting seeds that will bear fruit sometimes in ways you cannot yet see. Keep your heart pure and your motives aligned with my will. Seek first my kingdom and my righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. 
Do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Focus on today and trust me to take care of your future. I have given you gifts and talents uniquely suited to your calling. Do not compare yourself to others, for each person has a different role to play. Embrace your uniqueness and use your gifts to serve others. In doing so, you bring glory to me and fulfill your purpose. Surround yourself with people who uplift and encourage you in your faith. Iron sharpens iron, and you need the fellowship of other believers to stay strong, bear one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. Encourage one another daily, as long as it is called today, so that none of you may be hardened by sin's deceitfulness. Be vigilant, for the enemy prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Stand firm in your faith, resist him, and he will flee from you. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. Remember, greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. You have been given authority over all the power of the enemy. Do not be afraid to use it. Speak my word with boldness and confidence. Declare my promises over your life and the lives of those around you. My word is living and active, and it will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I sent it. Prayer is your lifeline to me. Never underestimate the power of your prayers. Pray without ceasing, and in everything give thanks, for this is my will for you in Christ Jesus. Approach my throne of grace with confidence, knowing that you will receive mercy and find grace to help in your time of need. In every season of life, whether in plenty or in want, learn to be content I am your shepherd, and you lack nothing. I will supply all your needs according to my riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Trust me to provide for you and do not rely on your own understanding. Remember the importance of rest. Just as I created the Sabbath for rest, so too must you find time to rest in me. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. You are not alone in your journey. My spirit is with you, guiding you, comforting you, and empowering you. The same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead lives in you, giving life to your mortal body. Walk in step with the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. Live a life of love, just as Christ loved you and gave himself up for you as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. Let your love be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Be a beacon of hope and a vessel of my love in a world that desperately needs it. In all things, give thanks. Rejoice always, pray continually, and give thanks in all circumstances, for this is my will for you in Christ Jesus. Gratitude changes your perspective and opens your eyes to the many blessings I have given you. Remember, my child, that I am with you always, 
My love for you is everlasting and my Walk in my ways, trust in my promises, and know that I am your God. I am for you, not against you. I am your Father, and you are my beloved child. Go forth in my love and grace. Shine brightly for me. The world needs the light you carry. You are my hands and feet, and through you my love will be made known. May my peace be with you always. Amen. My dear child, as you move forward, remember that you are my ambassador on this earth. You carry my message of love, hope, and redemption to a world that is yearning for it. Do not be ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes. Speak boldly and confidently, knowing that I am with you and that I will give you the words to say. Be patient and gentle with yourself and others. Growth takes time and everyone is on their own unique journey. Show compassion and understanding, bearing with one another in love. Forgive as I have forgiven you and let your heart be filled with mercy and grace. These are the marks of my true disciples. Know that your prayers have great power. When you pray, you are partnering with me to bring about my will on earth as it is in heaven. Pray for your family, your friends, your community, and your leaders. Pray for those who do not yet know me that their hearts may be opened to my love. Intercede on behalf of the hurting, the lost, and the broken. Your prayers make a difference. Stay humble, for I resist the proud, but give grace to the humble. Humility is not thinking less of yourself, but thinking of yourself less. It is recognizing your dependence on me and acknowledging that every good and perfect gift comes from above. Walk in humility, and I will lift you up in due time. Be a peacemaker in a world filled with conflict and division. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Seek to bring reconciliation and healing wherever you go. Let your words and actions be a reflection of my peace, which surpasses all understanding. Do not be conformed to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what my will is, my good, pleasing, and perfect will. Set your mind on things above, not on earthly things, for you died, and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. Remember that you are a part of my body, the church. You have a unique role to play, and your contributions are vital to the health and growth of the body. Use your gifts to serve others and build up the church in love. Encourage one another and spur each other on toward love and good deeds. Be diligent in your work for whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters. Your work is an act of worship and it brings glory to me. Do everything without complaining or arguing so that you may become blameless and pure children of God without fault in a warped and crooked generation. Then you will shine among them like stars in the sky. Guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. Be mindful of what you allow into your mind and spirit. Fill your thoughts with what is true, noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable, excellent, and praiseworthy. Meditate on these things, and my peace will be with you. 
Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for I am with you wherever you go. I am your refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. You can face any challenge with confidence, knowing that I am by your side. Live in unity with your brothers and sisters in Christ. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called to one hope when you were called. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all, let love bind you together in perfect harmony. Remember that your citizenship is in heaven. You are an ambassador of my kingdom, and your life is a testimony to my love and grace. Live in a way that honors me and draws others to me. Be the salt of the earth and the light of the world shining brightly for all to see. As you continue your journey, know that I am with you every step of the way. My love for you is boundless, and my grace is sufficient for you. Rest in my promises and trust in my unfailing love. You are my beloved child, and I am your faithful father. May my love, peace, and joy fill your heart and guide your every step. Walk in my light and let your life be a reflection of my glory. You are precious to me and I delight in you. Go forth with confidence knowing that you are deeply loved and highly favored. Amen. My beloved child, as you continue to walk in my light, know that your journey is not without purpose. Every step you take Every decision you make and every encounter you have is a part of the grand tapestry I am weaving in your life. Trust that I am working all things together for your good, even when you cannot see the bigger picture. Embrace the joy of living in my presence. In my presence, there is fullness of joy. At my right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Let your heart be filled with the joy that comes from knowing me and being known by me. This joy is your strength, and it will sustain you through every trial and tribulation. Be a vessel of my love and compassion. The world is filled with people who are hurting and in need of my touch. Allow my love to flow through you to those around you. A kind word, a gentle touch, a listening ear. These simple acts of love can make a profound difference in someone's life. Be my hands and feet and let your actions reflect my heart. Remember the importance of gratitude. A thankful heart is a happy heart. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is my will for you in Christ Jesus. When you focus on your blessings, you shift your perspective from what is lacking to what is abundant. Gratitude opens your eyes to the beauty and goodness all around you. Keep your faith strong. Faith is the assurance of things hoped for the conviction of things not seen. It is through faith that you will see mountains move and miracles happen. Trust in me with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge me and I will make your path straight. Nurture your relationship with me through prayer and meditation on my word. Set aside time each day to be still in my presence, to listen to my voice, and to speak with me. Prayer is not just about asking for what you need, but also about cultivating a deeper intimacy with me. 
I desire to be close to you, to share in your joys and sorrows, and to guide you in all things. Live a life of integrity. Let your yes be yes and your no be no. Be honest in all your dealings and let your actions align with your words. Integrity builds trust and honors me. When you live with integrity, you reflect my character to the world. Seek wisdom and understanding. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask me who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. Wisdom will guide you in making good decisions and help you navigate the complexities of life. Lean on my wisdom and not on your own. Stay connected to the body of Christ. Fellowship with other believers is essential for your spiritual growth and encouragement. Bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. Encourage one another and build each other up just as you are doing. In the community of faith, you will find support, accountability, and love. My beloved child, as you continue to walk in the path I have laid out for you, be assured that I am the one who sustains you. I am your source of life, your wellspring of hope, and your everlasting peace. Every breath you take is a reminder of my presence within you, and every beat of your heart is a testament to my unwavering love. In times of uncertainty, cling to my promises. I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. My word does not change, and my promises are always true. When you feel overwhelmed, remember that I am your rock and your fortress your deliverer in whom you can take refuge. Cast all your cares upon me, for I care for you deeply. Cultivate an attitude of trust. Trust is the foundation of your relationship with me. Trust that I know what is best for you, even when you do not understand the circumstances you are in. Trust that my timing is perfect, even when it seems delayed. Trust that my ways are higher than your ways and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. When you trust in me with all your heart, you will find a peace that surpasses all understanding. Your journey is unique and filled with divine purpose. Do not compare yourself to others for I have a specific plan for you that is tailor-made for your life. You are my masterpiece, created in Christ Jesus to do good works. Celebrate the individuality I have given you and use your unique gifts to bring glory to my name. Embrace the power of community. I have placed you within the body of Christ for a reason. You are not meant to walk this journey alone. Surround yourself with fellow believers who will encourage you, challenge you, and walk alongside you. Together, you are stronger. And together, you can accomplish great things for my kingdom. Let love be the driving force in all that you do. Love one another as I have loved you. This is how the world will know that you are my disciples. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Stay grounded in my word. My word is a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. 
Meditate on it day and night. Let it dwell richly in your heart. It will guide you, comfort you, and strengthen you. My word is living and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It is the foundation upon which you can build your life. Persevere in prayer. Prayer is your direct line of communication with me. Through prayer you can pour out your heart, seek my guidance, and find solace in my presence. Pray without ceasing, bringing every concern, every joy, and every need before me. I am always listening, and I delight in your prayers. Walk in the light of my truth. In a world filled with darkness, you are called to be a light. Let your life reflect my truth and my love. Do not be conformed to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Live in such a way that others see me in you. Remain steadfast in your faith. Faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Even when circumstances seem impossible, hold on to your faith. I am the God of the impossible, and nothing is too hard for me. Your faith will move mountains, and your trust in me will see you through every storm. Be a beacon of hope. There are many who are lost and searching for meaning. Share the hope that you have in me. Let your life be a testament to my grace and mercy. Offer a helping hand, a listening ear, and a compassionate heart. Through you, others will come to know my love. Remember that you are never alone. I am with you always to the very end of the age. I will never leave you nor forsake you. My presence is a constant in your life, a source of comfort and strength. Lean on me and I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. As you continue on your journey, know that I am proud of you. You are my beloved child and I delight in you. I have called you by name, and you are mine. Walk in the confidence of my love, the assurance of my grace, and the power of my spirit. Go forth in my peace, my joy, and my love. Shine brightly for me, and let your life be a reflection of my glory. You are dearly loved, and I am with you always. Amen. My cherished child, as you continue to walk the path I have set before you, always remember that your life is a precious gift. Every moment, every breath, and every heartbeat is infused with my purpose and love. Embrace each day with gratitude and joy, knowing that I am orchestrating every detail for your good and my glory. In times of difficulty, do not lose heart. I am your strength and your shield, your ever-present help in trouble. When you feel weak, lean on me, for my power is made perfect in your weakness. Remember, it is not by might nor by power, but by my spirit that you will overcome. Trust in my sufficiency, for I am your all in all. Let your life be a song of praise. Praise me in the good times and in the bad, in the triumphs and in the trials. A heart filled with praise is a heart that draws near to me. Your worship is a fragrant offering, pleasing and acceptable in my sight. When you praise, the atmosphere changes and my presence fills your life with peace and joy. Seek my wisdom in all things. I am the source of all wisdom and knowledge. When you lack understanding, ask me, and I will generously give it to you without finding fault. 
My wisdom will guide you in the right paths and protect you from harm. It will give you insight into the mysteries of life and help you make decisions that honor me. Live a life of generosity. Give freely as you have freely received. Your generosity reflects my heart and opens doors for my blessings to flow through you. Whether it is your time, talents, or treasures, offer them up with a cheerful heart. In giving, you will find true fulfillment and joy. Remain faithful in the small things. Do not despise the days of small beginnings. Every act of faithfulness, no matter how insignificant it may seem, is seen and rewarded by me. Be diligent and steadfast, and I will entrust you with greater responsibilities. Your faithfulness in the little things paves the way for greater opportunities to serve and glorify me. Guard your heart against negativity and despair. The enemy seeks to steal, kill, and destroy. But I have come that you may have life and have it to the full. Do not allow fear, doubt, or discouragement to take root in your heart. Stand firm in your faith and resist the lies of the enemy. Fill your mind with my truth and let it shape your thoughts and actions. Embrace the power of forgiveness. Just as I have forgiven you, so must you forgive others. Harboring unforgiveness only chains you to the past and hinders your spiritual growth. Release those who have wronged you and experience the freedom and healing that forgiveness brings. Let my love flow through you, breaking down walls of bitterness and resentment. Cherish the gift of fellowship. I have placed you in a community of believers for a reason. Together you are stronger, and together you can accomplish much for my kingdom. Encourage one another, pray for one another, and bear each other's burdens. In the unity of the Spirit, you will experience my presence in powerful and transformative ways. Walk in the light of my love. Love is the greatest commandment and it is the essence of who I am. Let my love be the foundation of all you do. Love your neighbor as yourself and love even your enemies. Through your love, others will see me and be drawn to me. Your love has the power to heal, restore, and transform lives. Be a person of integrity. Let your yes be yes and your no be no. Live a life that is above reproach, reflecting my character in all you do. Integrity builds trust and honors me. When you walk in integrity, you are a light in the darkness, a beacon of hope in a world that often lacks moral direction. Type amen if you agree. Like this video if you believe in God. Subscribe this channel for more videos.